Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, uh, remember we were talking about the Apple Vision Pro headset? I do. And we you, talked about how awesome it was and how everyone was going to love it. You didn't like it. You said it was like a trash panda on your face. I would never say such a thing about a fine Apple product. Hit because... you up, give you a stipend. <laughs> Are they paying me now? No, they're not paying me. Uh, if they were, well, if they were, they're already getting returned. Oh, really? They ain't been out long. They cost thirty five hundred dollars, and they're already getting returned. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I kind of expected that to happen, though. Yeah, because they were like, "Oh no, nah, dude, I'll be the first one on the block to look like an asshole." And then <laughs> <laughs> you don't think it's a fashion statement. What, that you're dumb? That you got some vision goggles on you your head? You get an Oculus, dude, and just play, Why would you play want fruit slice you in the goddamn look, house. You would look just as bad wearing an Oculus out in public. And it's not 3500 bucks. That's my point. Oh, well, then you just look like a cheap piece of crap if you had <laughs> the Oculus on. Okay. Because it's not you didn't spend a 3500 Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. All right. But uh, so it says, Apple allows you to return any product within 14 days of purchase. <laughs> And the first wave of them were right about on time when they started sending them on back. Yeah. yeah. It says uh, the headset gives them headaches, triggers motion sickness. Cap. Uh, the weight of the device is front loaded. Cap. It's been another complaint. And it says uh, one uh, person said that it led to burst blood vessels in their eyes. Cap. And then, uh, then they, you know, they also had like dry eyes and redness. Cap. And all that. So that sounds wonderful. It sounds like a lot of cap. I I am capped out. Yeah, I'm capping out too. Yeah, I'm capping Look, out. I'm, I'm going to be, let's be 100% real. A lot of people that bought this thing were people who were like, I want to try it. Is Do I have the money to get it? Probably do. Uh, probably not. I got the money to get it. Do I really have the money to spare? Once you get it, you're just like, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a cell phone. It's like, it's like a, having a laptop on your head, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, do I really need a laptop on my head when I have a laptop right here? You all, well, then what do you need a laptop in your brain if you got a laptop right here, Neuralink? The, and see, and that's the thing is that when it gets to that point, it will be better. But right now, we're still dealing with these like these bulky convenience store. We're still dealing with these bulky peripherals where you want to like put something on my face or something. I feel like a phone is a little bit too bulky. Like if they could have like if they had a phone where it was like I could just like tap it on my palm or something. I open my palm and my phone just like showed up as like a light board or something like a holodeck. I mean, look, man, better is better. So you can lose your phone. The phone's heavy. It weighs my pants now. It sure, it's not like a lot of complaints, but if it were like more integrated. I'll tell you what, when I wear some gym shorts, sometimes it pulls my pants down. I don't like it. It, it, right? My old phone didn't do that. And I know people are like third world problems. These these guys are seriously complaining about the weight of a cell phone. That's not the point. The point is. is I that had to buy a new, hand, a new holder for my car because my phone was so heavy it like drooped. <laughs> Exactly. See, <laughs> yeah, and it's not. It's not the point of that. Phones are cumbersome. It's the fact that this this thing is. Oh. If it were, if it were not cumbersome, if it were not like wrapped around my head, then it would not be. It has to be a little bit easier to use and not make you look like, as Jonah said, an asshole when you're walking around the streets. Dude, I want. I bet you, if you go downtown Austin, you'll see somebody wearing that. I, I could definitely see walking into like one of those coffee shops on like uh, what's the on street? Congress? No, no, not on Congress. Uh, not the Sixth Street, the place where we went to the the D and D thing. Oh, Rainy, Rainy. I could definitely see somebody at like a coffee street on Rainy on Rainy or coffee shop on Rainy wearing those. Just like, like just like writing a dissertation or a book or something. But hands up in the air, like yeah, they're like. <laughs> Full, full uh, minority report. Full uh, AI augmented reality. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. If somebody bought it for me, I would try. See, and I would, like I said, I would buy it too, but like I said, I would definitely return it. Because this, this is, like I said, it's another laptop. It's like having a cell phone and slash laptop strapped to your head. Doesn't really, I don't really need that. I have a computer. I have a cell phone. 
how many more ways can we interact with the with the internet and applications? I don't we got watches. Exactly. It's like the internet. It's almost too many ways to get to the internet where you can't have a harder way to get to the internet and try to sell it to me. I already have easier ways of accessing the internet, which is all you're really trying to get because you just want to sell me shit anyway. You just want to sell me stuff, so you just want me to get like, online to so sell me stuff. You wear this portable ad wearing machine in your eyesight exactly. at all times. <laughs> Thank you. No, I'm sorry. I already have my portable ad uh, machine right here. Just looking, <laughs> looking at notes, man. A freaking Tim you ad popped You're... up on my phone. I got so mad because I was like, I actually want to buy the hat. <laughs> yeah, so you wear the goggles, and in the corner there's like a Coca Cola ad, like in your peripheral vision at all I times. Hate that. Like you're just like, oh, I'm thirsty. <laughs> it's like tap this button to order a case of Coke to your house from amazon I'm like fudge you i'll take two <laughs> yeah i'll take i'll take two i hate you know seriously i don't i don't hate advertisements online i just don't like them yeah but what i do hate is when i see an advertisement and i'm like damn it i actually want that that's the worst oh yeah well i see a ton of stuff on temu or whatever like it's basically like wish.com today like and, and i'm always like there's no way it's that cheap and good quality uh, yeah, yeah. Because everything's like, oh, you want this really awesome thing for four ninety nine, and I'm like, yeah. I never, if it, look, I never look and get the prices. The prices are cheap, dude. No, They're okay. super cheap. So you know, it's and bad. I've actually, you know, it's really funny. You um, ordered some stuff. I uh, no, I have not. I refuse to order the app to download the app. There's people at work though that were talking about, uh, and I was like, have y'all ordered on it? And they all kind of said the same thing. They were like, it's okay, but the quality's not the greatest. Mm. You know, because it's like it looks good. It's always it looks like, good on the on the display case. Yeah, it's like when you look go to McDonald's and you see the picture of the burger on the menu, and then you get it, and it looks like they threw it in the goddamn yeah. mop bucket before they put it in the bag. Exactly. They're all like, <laughs> there's back there stomping burgers. Yeah, <laughs> literally, they're just like ripping tomatoes in half and throwing them on the sandwich, and not even slicing them. Yeah. Uh, why is there a Nike symbol on the top of my burger? Like, oh, that's the new wave. Oh, okay. Um, it looks like it's dirty. <laughs> So's your mom. And you're like, whoa, excuse me. I didn't order used chewing gum with my burger. Uh, no, I I agree, man. I've never I've never uh, even messed with Tim Yu. I've honestly I feel like the first time I even heard the term Tim Yu was like three days ago, and now it feels like one of those things where you hear it once and now you can't stop hearing. About oh, it. I saw it forever, and now I've seen it forever and ever. Yeah, and it's just it's just becoming to the point now where it's just like uh, what do you call that? Psycho, not psychologically. When some subliminally, it's subliminally. been subliminally implanted into my mind. Now I, just, I know it's a thing, which goes to tell you is that advertising works. Apparently, yes, that's because, why they do it. Because the only place that I even look for anything is on my phone because I don't watch television. So if I've been, it's gotten to me. So no, I don't need your Google goggle glasses to make myself uncomfortable while you want to advertise like to me. You said your Google Gaga glasses. I know, yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, I like that too. <laughs> but uh, I don't need your your Google Gaga glasses when I already got a cell phone to sell me stuff. It has to be easier than this. It has to be easier. I feel like even the cell phone companies are taking the wrong idea. And you feel free to take this idea, cell phone companies, and compensate me later for it when okay. I when I take you to court. But I 100% because this is t trademark copyright. I uh, need to see about the guy who did the enhanced games, by the way. This is, uh, I'm holding up a cell phone. A cell phone is the easiest way that we have to communicate with each other through the internet um through uh radio waves this is the device that we choose to use if you want us to adopt something new it has to be easier than this it has to be just like it has to be i don't know i don't know what you could do i feel like Neuralink is the next level because this is already basically implanted into people's in in the pan implanted into people's hands 95 percent of the time what they need to do is get things that go on your fingertips, and then you just like you can that, like. Thank you. you can like, that would be great. You can like keyboard type in the Google air. Gaga gloves. <laughs> 
a hundred percent. Honestly, Joe, great idea. Google guy got gloves. Screen pops up in front of you, and you're just, <laughs> and you're just like da, 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 Bro, da, 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 that would be da, great. Da. Oh yeah. Though I still think putting on gloves every time I want to text somebody is going to be a little bit. You wear them all the time. They embed them into your fingertips. Now you're talking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now... It's like imbe- it's the first step of embedment. It's not yes. in your brain. It's a yes. little risky. Just your fingertips. Yep. And you just dee-dee-dee-dee. All you got to do is get uh, have a barcode and plant into the back of your neck. And you six, just six 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 across your forehead. And you touch and you, your. You scan your index finger on the back of your neck. Oh and then you start- my god! I love it, and I also hate it. I want to let you. It gives. It makes me so uncomfortable, but I do want it. All right. I want to be the first one to sign up, and I'm going to hate every moment of it until it's done. All right. That's great. That's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like, and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh uh, yeah.